Hey guys, this is So Heidi with The Successful Fashion Designer, and this tutorial is gonna show you how to create text sketches in Illustrator. So I have a method that I've been using for, gosh, like over five years, and this is after a lot of trial and error and a lot of seeing how other designers did it and then kind of creating my own method that I, even to this day after five years, still feel is like the most efficient way to create your text sketches in Illustrator. So let's get started. Um, what I've got here is a simple t-shirt sketch that I'm gonna mock up as a text sketch. Um, so we're the main tool that we're gonna use in Illustrator is the layers panel. So I've got that open. If you don't see it, it's always under window layers. And what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna name the first layer. And so I'll double click on this and this is gonna be our sketch. Okay, I'm gonna start by actually locking that layer and I'm gonna create a new layer. The next layer is going to be my callouts. And from there, I will add a few callouts. Now, I'm not gonna create the entire text sketch for speed purposes. I'm just gonna show you the format of how I like to put these together and then how I actually use them to assemble my tech pack. So I will grab my um, pen tool and I will change the stroke color to a red and I'm gonna do some arrowhead callouts. Now, I just recently did a video on creating arrowheads as graphic styles in Illustrator. If you haven't seen that, um, check that one out. It's a really great trick. So I'll show you really quickly how we're gonna do this. So with my arrow, or excuse me, with my pen tool, I'm just gonna draw a path coming off of this. I'll come over to my stroke panel and I will choose an arrowhead that I wanna to apply to that. Now it's a little bit fine, so let's bump that up. There we go, one point. Um, I could turn that into a graphic style or have loaded my graphic styles from the other tutorial that I did. I'll just show you really quickly how to do this. Um, so with that path selected, it is a red path that is one point and it has an arrowhead on it. I open my graphic styles panel. Again, if you don't see it, it's under window graphic styles from your drop down here. And I'll just click, click the new graphic style. What that does is it creates a graphic style that has those attributes to it. From here, anytime I draw a path, no matter what the attributes are, I can just click that graphic style and that applies the red stroke at one point with the arrowhead on it. So that's a really quick way to sort of save your arrowhead style. Again, watch the video if you want more detail on that and how to load those into other documents and only create them once to use over and over. So let's keep going with our text sketch. So once I draw that path there, I'm gonna hit the return key to disconnect from that arrowhead because I don't want that anymore. And we'll just draw one more callout here. I'll go ahead and apply the graphic style to it. And now I've got three callouts. Again, I'll hit the return key to disconnect from that. Now I'm gonna add text. So I'll grab my type tool and I really like to use a text box when I type. So I click and drag, which creates a text box that I can then type into. And so I can say um, binding around neckline. And what happens with the text box? A couple things. If you see a red plus sign at the edge of your text box, what it means is that you have too much text and it's being cut by the text box. So you just need to make this either bigger on the vertical or the horizontal to allow enough space for that text to fit into the text box. The reason I like this method is because you're not typing. Um, let's say we have double needle top stitch. I'm gonna do the call out for the sleeve here on sleeve hem. You're not having to type and hit enter to return or things like that. So instead, you can just click and drag and we can have double needle top stitch at sleeve hem. The text automatically wraps and then as you change the size of this, you can make the text either narrower or wider depending on the amount of space you have on your document. All right, so we'll do the last one and we will say um, set on pocket and I'll just say see detail sketch for measurements. All right, and again, we need that to be a little bit bigger so we'll give ourselves a little bit more space. Okay. Now, I would do finish the rest of my callouts. I know that's not all of them, but there's just three examples to get started. So once my callouts are done, I can take a screenshot. Now I'm on a Mac, and so this is going to be done by holding Command Shift 4, which loads the screenshot um, crosshatch. I can then click and drag to create a screenshot. If this did not drop in the right position, I can hold the space bar before I release my mouse to move this around. 
Now a trick for this, which I also did recently do a tutorial on, but I'll tell you guys again here, is to hold the control key. Um, again, this is for a Mac. I will tell you in a second how to do it on a PC. Hold the control key before you release and that will copy that screenshot to your clipboard, meaning you've now got it copied. You're gonna jump over to Excel and let's see, what did I do a screenshot of? I just did a screenshot of my flat sketch. So I'm gonna do Command or Control V to paste this in. Now, that was the easiest, quickest way you could get it in. You didn't have to export a JPEG or a PNG from Illustrator. You just copy and pasted it directly from your screenshot. If you are in um, on a PC, look at the snipping tool, okay? The snipping tool works a little bit differently because it's PC, but it's the same type of tool you can use to create screenshots and paste them directly into Excel. Okay, let's keep moving. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna lock the layer that my callouts come on. I will turn the visibility off and I will create a new layer, which I'm gonna call my measurements. And we'll zoom in here and I can use my pen tool with a red stroke, whoops. A red stroke and we can say, there is the bracket to sort of measure the height of that pocket. I'll hit the return key to disconnect from that path and create one more and hit the return key again to disconnect. And then I can grab my type tool and I can say this is measurement A and this is measurement B. Now I like to do my measurements as letter codes and then fill them in in Excel. The reason is because if I have to change a measurement later, it's much easier to update it in Excel than it is in Illustrator. Um, I've gotten into debates as to whether or not this is the best way to do it. This is the way I pre really prefer to do it. Um, and so you can either put your measurement directly in Excel, in Illustrator or directly in Excel. The point is, we all we did was just turn the callouts layer off, turn our measurements layer on. We would get this screenshot into Excel the same way we did before, and we could paste it in here. And again, we could put the description of the measurement and the uh, measurement right here within Excel. Um, I will also let you know that if you want this tech pack to fill in yourself, grab it at my website. You can check the link that just popped up on your screen right now. Um, I have a free tech pack template and some tutorials on how to use it on the website. So check that out and download the tech pack. So in here, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my measurements, unlock, or excuse me, lock that, turn the visibility off, and I'll create one last layer, um, which would be my colorways. Now the colorways layer I do have to create separate from the main sketch. So I'm gonna unlock this. I will grab my selection tool and I will select my entire garment. I will copy this. I will turn that layer off. I will come up to this layer, which we will call our colorways and I will paste my sketch here. And so let's just say I have two colorways. So let's fill this in. We've got our garment. All right, so we're just gonna make up some colorways here. And we'll grab the same color that we have here and maybe just change this to be a little bit darker so you can see that it's the inside of the garment. And my pocket did not come out the same color. There we go. And actually I'm gonna delete this sketch here. Cause what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys one cool trick too while we're doing this. I will have this colorway done. I will hold the option or alt key to click and drag to move this over. And I wanna create another colorway. Instead of manually filling all of those color positions one by one, I'm gonna use the edit color feature. So I'm gonna come up to edit, edit colors, recolor artwork, and within this dialog, I've got these options to change the color. So what I can do is I can double click on this position here in the new column. And I'm just gonna do this really quickly. Again, I have a tutorial that goes through this in way more detail. Um, look for recolor artwork um, on my channel. So I'll just change this. There we go, that's close enough. And we'll go, okay. So that was a really quick way to make the new colorway. So I've got my colorways done, my measurements, my callouts, and my sketch. I love this feature because, I'm not this feature, but this method of creating your tech sketches because everything is within one Illustrator document. Your callouts and your measurements all use the same exact sketch and you simply turn the layer visibility on and off as you want to take screenshots of that and drop them into Excel. So it's really, really easy 
to keep all of your artwork contained in one Illustrator file, very organized by your layers, and then drop them into Excel as you need them. So this is how I really prefer to organize my text sketches within Illustrator. Again, I found this to be the most efficient and quickest way. Um, I'll also remind you if you wanna grab the Tech Pack template, you can do that on my site under the free stuff section and go ahead and get started uh, filling in your tech packs using this tech sketch formula that I've shown you guys in Illustrator. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I am so Heidi with The Successful Fashion Designer and I love having you here and your continued support. If you like what I'm doing, I would love to get to know you. Sign up for my email list. I send out tons of free content that you don't see here on YouTube and I would love to chat and hear your story. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye, guys.